Welcome to the Horses Advocate Radio Show. I'm so grateful that you're spending your time here with me today. I am Jeff Tucker, and these are my opinions, observations, and experiences based on working with horses since 1973 and a horse vet since 1984. Please remember, while I am a veterinarian, I'm not your veterinarian. Only he or she can diagnose and treat your horse. Please visit thehorsesadvocate.com for more topics and in-depth articles, photos, videos, and courses. Thank you for seeking honest information and helping your horses thrive in a human world. Hey everyone, welcome to the Horses Advocate podcast. This is Doc T. And today I wanna to talk about medicating horses for dentistry or for any purpose. Medications are not benign things. Medications alter every molecule in the horse's body and we should be using it more judiciously. For example, did you know that according to Texas A&M University Vet School, they found that giving one Prevacox to a horse wiped out a whole family of normal bacteria that belong in the mouth. You have 700 bacteria that belong in there uh, approximately, and one whole family of them is completely wiped out with just one dose of Prevacox. So when a lot of people ask me about medicating horses, they say trank or sedate, and they're just missing the whole point. Because when you want to work on a horse, in, in their mouth and they're giving you a problem, most likely it's from pain. So I like to use pain medication. I use two different types. One directly uh, works on the uh, pain processes in the horse's mouth or what we call the oral mucosa. And it also has some sedative properties. It's called xylazine. And I also use another more um, morphine-like drug, uh, butorphanol, which helps take away the pain on a very profound level. So I'm taking pain away in two different spots. I'm not giving a horse heavy sedation. I'm certainly not tranquilizing because that doesn't help. If you ever seen a horse medicated with uh, a sedative and that horse keeps fighting through it because the, the procedure that you're trying to do is actually really painful and the horse is saying, hey, you've got me drunk, but I still feel the pain. And drunk is not a good place that you want the horse to be. You want to target what you're trying to do. And so in our place, we go ahead and give, oh, get out of there. We get we give pain medications and that helps uh, calm the horse down and become more of a willing partner. And that's what we want to do in our dental practice. And that's what we want to do in everything that we do with veter and veterinary approaches to horses. So I always use the word medicate. And I use those two main medicating drugs to kill the pain. Now, I also had a third combination, um, di um, diazepam, which a lot of people know as Valium. It's a great drug for using in horses. And this takes away the anxiety. It's an anxiolytic or taking away the anxiety. And you've seen these horses. They see me. I'm a vet. I'm a, you know, a man. They're all, they're like, nothing ever good has come from this. And we give them a little bit of that. And that allows them to work through their fear and allow them to accept what's going on. And then when they feel the benefits of taking away all the pain inside the horse's mouth, next thing you know, they're like, hey, I know you, I like you. You're gonna come and take care of my teeth and the pain in my mouth. And they actually, after about two doses, meaning like if we do the horse today and then six months from now, we do it again. And then six months later, a year after the first floating, these horses sometimes say, oh, come on in. You don't need to drug me anymore. I'm really comfortable with this procedure. And that's the whole idea again uh, with using anxiolytics. So those are the three medications I use. The bottom line is you do not want to drug a horse to make it easier to work on because you don't have the abilities. You want to medicate the horse to remove the problems that the horse has, which in this case, almost every time is pain. Take that pain away and the horse is then fine to work on. And then it becomes a willing partner. And the next time you come back, they're more and more willing because now they understand what's going on. So anyway, that's Doc T. That's my little ditty on um, medicating horses and why we uh, don't automatically medicate horses in dentistry. But when we do, we use effective and targeted medication to take care of a specific problem. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.